Boston police arrested three people along the parade route after a group of pro-Palestinian protesters clashed with police. The parade was briefly stopped but continued on. And as you can see behind me here at City Hall Plaza, the pride celebrations are still going strong. Boston bursting with pride. For the annual Pride Parade. It is magical. It's addictive too. But the best thing, all these beautiful people that are here. Among the nearly 10,000 parade participants were Mayor Michelle Wu. It's amazing. It's one of the best things to look here. And Governor Maura Healey. Oh, it's such a day of joy and celebration. Happy, Happy Pride. Pride. And also, we got to continue to protect equality, freedom, and everybody's got to go vote this November. In the midst of the cheers, a moment of silence for those in the LGBTQ plus community community who have lost their lives. Organizers with Boston Pride for the People telling us about this year's theme, Still Here in Living Color. Still Here describes we are still standing strong. There's still a lot to do in living color, in our unique expression, and whatever our expression is today, tomorrow, next week. Happy Pride! People who have been coming to the parade for years have proudly watched it grow. It's amazing that it just keeps growing and especially with my generation of where I come from, you know, it's so much different and it's so much more accepting. I love being accepted. I love the community. Everybody's loving, positive, supportive, and I feel like that's what we really need right now. More than 300 groups marched from Copley Square to Boston Common, where a festival kept the party going. From there, the 21 and over crowd continuing the celebrations at City Hall Plaza with one thing on full display. The theme of today is just love. That's what I love the most about coming out to these things. And organizers estimate about 1 million people flocked to the city for today's Pride event, so that means a whole lot of love and support out here today. In Boston, Brianna Borgie, WCVB News Center.